What's that? The true device. You know, with the true device. Uh, fentanyl. Three, I can hear it. Fentanyl or what? I mean, it's white, white powdery, so I'm like, eh, do, you have a, do you have an N95 mask? I don't have one. No? Okay, then just take a step back, and if you don't have an N95... We put it in our plastic bag. So, oh, yeah. what... Do you... Let's do this, then. Do you want to go... Sit with him for a bit? Sit with him, let him take him to the hospital, and then if we have a coupon, we'll come and give it to him. Sure. Or if we're gonna sit that way, they don't we don't tie them up for sure. longer than what we need. Yeah. Just keep okay. taking photos with the. That way he doesn't have to take gloves off. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Since I've been taking all the photos. Of okay. If you want to move on to the stuff on the ground, and if you want to do the other side, just be careful where you're breathing and what you're doing, okay? Where's our Narcan at? Go ahead. Uh, it's in the uh, driver's side. In the door? Pull that out and put it on the hood. Anything around here that looks like a screen frame? 
okay. Yeah, Marcos, you know, this is the only MD in round two. Well, evidently somebody tried to pull it out and, and rip the screen out and tried to get in. Into so, the building? Into the building, yeah. Okay. Um, There's some damage over there. My mailbox is here. The screen was pulled off and ripped out of the frame. So the frame's here? Yeah. Do you have video of that area? Well, not up, not up, my, no, not up there. When was the last time you saw it, the screen? This morning before I left. Okay. So when I came back, that was when I called you about five minutes later. Got it. So the, obviously the, the screen's here, the, the frame's here. The screen's it's on the here. other side of the fence. Oh, okay. If you walk over here, you can see it. Okay. Yeah, we were looking for that. See it? Oh, okay. There it is. Is that it? That's it. I'll, I'll jump over there and get it. And well, you can can you'll be able to climb through. Oh, I can just walk through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right. Hey, thanks. No problem. Sorry. No problem. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We need to figure out if he just tried to burglarize this place. Yeah. Then we'll take him to jail. Okay. So, okay. once you're done with this, yeah. then we'll, we'll do that. Uh, review the video surrounds if they have he it. does not okay. so but you got to figure it you just make a determination on what you you think or believe okay okay um i'll just uh speak to him again or well he's leaving or not. You believe he was trying to break into the house? Is that what it appears? Yeah, he had the, there was a door out back here too that he had Jimmy. It's an electrical door. Can you sh can you show my partner because that, that's that's attempt burglary, which is a good felony crime, and we're gonna go to the hospital and then take him to jail for it. So can you? My partner will stop right now if you just show him those okay, those sure. things. Hey, five eye. We go with him. He he said he tried to Jimmy a door open too. Just go over there and. Yeah, just go do that right now because he's trying to leave and it looks like he was trying to burg it too, so we got a temp burglary. That's okay. It's an electrical panel in the back that services the whole building. Okay. I'll stand by with the car, okay? Uh, yeah, it's, stuff is on the that's fine. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, the guy's going to jail. Yeah, do you know him or no? Yeah, he tried to break into this place and he wrecked a bunch of stuff. He's high on drugs. Tweaker drama. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Welcome to California. Thanks. My partner is will be here in a minute. It, the, the dope's over there. He's. I'll just set this right in. Yeah, that's fine. The top of the car. Yeah, you can put it inside. So rack it. Put it on the rack or whatever. He's cool. Tur it's turned into a cluster for him. Yeah. Not, not for me, for him. <laughs> well, that's good news then. Yeah, he was 11.5. He was like just on the nod right here in this pile of stuff and then. Uh, he cut the fence, felony vandalism, and then he found probably fentanyl, and then um, there was a BB gun in there, and then the guy's like, hey, are, we're missing a screen, and one of our doors was trying to be Jimmy, so he tried to burg this place, too, so he's over there doing Did the burg. Did they see him do that? No, but, ev like, the screen's over here. Uh... Like, <laughs> and he saw it this morning, before he was here, so I'm just going to put two and two together here. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Good luck to him. Yeah, good luck to him. You still writing the shooting from yesterday? Oh. How did that end up? No involved parties. No one cared? No, like there was nobody went to the hospital with the bullet holes, and we don't know who the suspect is, so just an 11, 11 10 at this time, at this point. So. With, a, with a bunch of evidence and a lot of witness statements. So. Someone's going to retaliate sooner or later. It was a dope rip. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we saw a video, and they were selling dope, and then they tried to like 211 the guy and he got away and then they got in the car to drive away and he just started slinging lead at them while they're driving away yeah murphy was saying that lot's got a lot of uh a lot of traffic yeah it's, it, it, it's always had a lot of traffic yeah all right later buddy have a good weekend
Continue on to cover Firebird Lane at West Mission Road. Firebird at West Mission. Carpio is a passerby requesting a welfare check on a male in a wheelchair that's sitting in traffic lanes. He does not appear to be in distress. Possibly HBT or 11 5. It's an HM 6 years old wearing a white t shirt. 13. 903, I'm familiar with Vice Chronic. 3104. And 913 confirming break you for the from the 594. I'm sorry, what am I on? En route to Paul 6 with a true north device. 435 North Kilby. 11 is en route to handle that. 105. Also need a welfare check. Ready to pull four, I sent you the pending 1110. Got it. Okay. 94 clear, pending a residential audible 10452 Coyote Hill Glen. One Tom Seven MDC for Parker Diamante Road at Flight Street. What is it? What do you think? It's possible. There's no camera footage. Okay. Um, I took a photo of the door. It was already closed. He had already closed it. There's no sign of Fourth Century. Oh, there um, isn't. No, there's none. Just the screen being removed. Yeah. Okay. Um, point on the door. Yeah, door handle. No, no signs of Fourth Century. What? Why did he think that there was? He said that um, the door was open. Okay. Um, like when he came out? Yeah. So he, he checked once we were all here. Uh, the door had been open. He said he closed the door. Was, like, quiet was it checked. left unlocked? He, he, does, he said he hadn't even been here for a month. Okay. Um, so, and I checked the uh, door handle around the door. No signs of force entry. But the screen, he saw the screen this morning. Did he tell you that? No. Uh, yeah, he, saw, he said that the screen, I guess, was torn off. Yeah, but he saw it this morning yeah. before all of this, and okay. now it's off and it's in Ford, the bushes. So Baltimore. the time frame for him and yeah. the proximity, and it's right where all this stuff is. And I mean, I, there's enough probable cause to believe it. Good. Yeah. So, and did you look at the window? I didn't look at that. He said that there was a window uh, where the screen was at. Correct. Okay, yeah. I'll go check out. Well, we'll go up there and look and see if there's fingerprints. Mm -hmm. If there's fingerprints, you'll have to. Yeah, yeah take them. Yeah, because. It would put it would put it together, you know. So when you're going up there, don't look look for evidence. Look for fingerprints on the glass or smudge marks. Like he's trying to slide it open, you know. Like that's usually what they'll do is they'll try and slide it. Um, and I don't see any gloves anywhere. And he's a greasy dude because it's humid one, um, and he's 
just using dope and gross so he'll leave smudges and stuff like that so make sure you look at that if you do we take photos of them and then we lift them have you ever lifted prints before no my my print kit um it, it's not really good it's have like you ever used old. it i've never used it okay well gotta work with what you got or call someone that has it so go look and see what you can find And the true narc, or the uh, yeah, the true narc things here. Hey, what's up, man? Um, is he willing to give it? If he is, then yes. Okay, yeah, if you want to call one, that'd be great. All right, thanks, guys. And then on the floor, please start with the bottom is to Palomar, please. And just advise that we're going to be in the ER section.
down by a passing by about an 1183 at Air Valley in Idaho. I'm not involved, I'll be around for How's it going? It's good. Basically, nothing back there. Okay. Do you know how to use the true narc? Yeah. Um, clear it. I, I don't. I've never used it. Okay. So as long as you know how. Um, up on the top right there, see? Right where your hand is. Right where your hand is. There you go. Spark plugs? Burglary tool. You break the the ceramic on the spark plugs, yeah. and you, now you throw it at a window, and it breaks the window. That's what the, that's that's why. And those are motorcraft. Motorcrafts are owned by Ford. This is a Jeep owned by Chrysler. Not a, not a G, not a Chrysler part, you know. So we're not going to take it, but that's what it. Well, it's what it is. Just okay. so you know. Yeah, it's in the back on the thing. Joy 
Ray Roberts. Trying to clear it, self check it. Keeps failing. Oh, there it goes. Nice. Good to go. Just need to take a photo of it. Super 80s. Okay. Start. Copy that. Want to do it on our hood or on the trunk? Do it on the trunk. Okay. 92 Thank you. You can do it through the plastic. Careful with touching it like that. Just Hey, what's up, dude? Probably, um, is it just evolved and we found dope and then um, there's a BB gun and then the guy came out and I guess the guy attempted to burg this place. So we're, we're finishing up here. We're waiting for a tow and then Galvan's at the hospital sitting on him. And it, oh, and we just got we just got fentanyl too. So, yeah. 919 All right, sorry, dude. All right, bye. Don't go that way. Check 
Hey. Hello. Don't go that way. You're not going to come through the fence, are you? No. Okay, see ya. 91 Paul 3 reference. Hurt, check connected to Bergmark County. Did you want one of those South County units to give you a 21 one clear? Yeah, they're available, please. Thompson, when you play for a plate. Okay, let's go. What? Let's take another photo. unit ready and go ahead. 91 Thompson. Hey, uh, uh, the dope tested on this unit. It tested Robert positive Dora, for fentanyl. David, Ocean, George. Yeah, both of them did. Yeah, I still have another bag. Here. And he's got okay. one more bag, so it's probably going to be the same. No, we're going to. And no, because he removed a screen off of the. the the apartment, and it looks like he was trying to get in the window, so it's a temp berg. Tom 7, let me tell you, I Yeah, but we have the screen over by his car. Yeah, yeah. I know, it, it, so that's where we're at. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, once we, yeah, just hey, just hang out with him, and then we'll, we'll be on our way. All right, dude. Later. All right, We start 11:85 yet? No, I, I'm gonna start it after this. Okay. Since I already finished the tour. Yeah, I'm Methamphetamine? That's bad. That looks like heroin. Oh, is it? Oh, it's white. Oh, I was looking at the brown. Okay. That's no joke, dude. It's super dangerous. Gotta be really careful. I hate dealing with it. Six army eleven forty one for my partner. You're right, dude. Paul six code cover. Hey, dude. Wake up, hey, buddy. Remember now, it's ninety one Paul six. Yes, code cover. Code cover for ninety one Paul six. You tell me. Paul six. I need eleven forty one. Uh, code three. Come for unit for project five nine. Hey, buddy. Just breathe, buddy. Breathe. 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 It's all right. Breathe, breathe. 
breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. You're okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. It's okay. Oh, no, this way. I got you. I got you. Breathe, breathe. It's okay. Breathe. It's okay. Breathe. It's okay. There. Give me the air. I need uh, Narcan. I've already administered two. I've already administered two Narcan. It's okay. Just keep breathing. Focus, buddy. Focus. Focus. Three, I've got it. In route. Okay. Just focus. We're in the back parking lot of the mortuary. I'm in the back parking lot of the mortuary. It's okay. I got you. You're, you're going to be all right. Okay. There you go. Just five breathe. Five out. Focus on breathing, buddy. Five you're okay. Out. You're okay. Bye bye. You okay? Talk to me. Oh, no, no. Don't be sorry. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not going to let you die. I'm not going to let you die. It's okay. Just focus on your breathing, okay? Focus on it. I need Narcan! It's okay. It's all right. Just breathe. Just breathe. I've already given two. Bye bye. Talk to me, buddy. Talk to me. Focus on your breathing, okay? We got you. We got you. It's okay. I got you, five bye. I'm not letting you go, okay? I'm not letting you go, breathe. Focus, buddy. Focus. Stay with us. You're it's doing okay. good, buddy. You're doing it's good. Right. It's okay, five bye. Talk I'll to me. I'll give this when I got another one on standby. Just hold bye. You're breathing. You're okay. Bye bye. Look You're... at me, bud. Look at me. Focus, okay? Look at me in my eyes. You're doing good, okay? You're breathing. Help, help us on the no, way. Sorry. You're going to. It's no. okay. Don't be sorry. Just focus on breathing, okay? You're doing good. Just keep focusing, buddy. You're doing great. Start taking this belt off to get yeah, give it. I'm holding his head up. So. Stand by. Sorry. Yep. Hey, Dave. Nothing to be sorry about. Okay. You're okay, Dave. It's all right. You guys, watch yourself for additional contamination. Okay? It's inside of the trunk of our car. Okay. Okay. It's okay, Dave. You're doing great, bud. You're doing great. It's okay, buddy. Hey, do you know what day it is? Just focus on your breathing, okay? Okay, okay we'll work with that. That's good. I'll take that for now. You're gonna be fine, bud. You're doing great. You're you're awake. Hey, dude, we're a family. There's nothing to be sorry about, okay? That's why I hate this fucking garbage. You're doing great, bud. As soon as you get his belt off, let's get him on his. Uh, you get him on. We have fentanyl, so he. We've already done three Narcans. Okay, I'm not gonna administer another one unless no, he starts no, he's, to lose. No, no, we're good. Okay. He, he doesn't need another one. You're okay, bud. You're doing great, bud. Paul six units can reduce. Continue FD. Uh, it's all right. Not even reducing FD. It's all right, dude. You're okay, man. You're all right. We're good. Right. Right. You're breathing. Your breathing sounds alert. really good. Your breathing sounds really good, bud. When he gets built up, you want to get him on his back to keep him in No, let's keep him in a recovery position. position. Okay, sounds yeah. good. It's all right. I got your head, Dave. Don't don't worry about okay. supporting it, okay, bud? Just stay there. Hey, Justin, when you're done with that, you want to see if there's one of those uh, those drag those drag uh, rescue little sled. rescue suds yeah, we can use to support his head? Car. Yeah, you want to grab what? a couple of those? I say we just wait for a gurney. Yeah, right yeah, which oh, are you? they here? Yeah. Okay. All right, sounds good. You're doing great, bud. You're not supposed to breathe this stuff in, bud. <laughs> we were just talking about we, we were talking about how we have to be super careful with it, man. It was not the plan. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. That's why I ripped his vest off so he could just breathe. It's all right. Three. So Crane gave him two. I gave him one, and I got another one standby. How are you feeling? You feeling a little bit better? Starting to focus a little bit more? A little My bit? Head hurts. Your head yeah. hurts? Because Crane's death gripping it right now. <laughs> no, we're, we're good. He's I got he's had three. Crane gave him two. I gave him one. He's awake and, and alert. He's a little groggy, but uh, I got another one on standby. FD should be here in a hot second. 
Paul 6 FD is not 97 yet. Handler. How's that breathing going, buddy? Still doing all right? Yeah, okay. trying to get. How's your vision? Can you tell me about your vision? I think I hit my head and... You hit your head? You think that's what's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, but well, it might be an improvement, so we'll see how that pans out, okay? Your hands are turning purple. I'm just going to loosen your shit up, okay? He's got fucking huge shoulders, so I don't think he's going to be able to reach his head there. Do you have it's another okay. one, or just, it's all right. I'll just I'm, hold, I'm holding. I'm holding. Okay, it's fine. You want to leave it or take it? Leave it. Or uh, just just leave it in case. Just, there's no harm in having it right there. Do you want to lay on your back, dude? Yeah. There you go. If your breathing feels better on your side, we can roll it back over, okay? Uh, do you think it was a dope, or do you think you were having heat exhaustion? No, it was good. Just got lightheaded. In. 111, 50, 97, attach engine. I like. One. Where's the material? It's in the trunk, it's it's in that clear plastic bag right there, yeah. It tests a positive for fentanyl. His pulse is good and... I don't have any. Hey man, your pulse feels great, all right? It's good. Good, normal, normal rhythm. Clear ET, sorry. Uh, three? Yeah. I did two. Pop down trails, clear ET. I will. I will. Uh, I'll take care of it. If you stay with him, I'll take care of all this nonsense. Frank, you want to stay? Watch this. You want to go? I want to go. Bye bye. Open your eyes. Bye bye. Hey. Give him another dose. Hey. Hey, hit him up. Give him another dose. Give him another dose. Oh, come on. Yeah, again, I just gave him one. I just gave him one. What in the fuck is taking so long? Fourth round, fourth round, fourth round. Dave, Dave, keep your eyes open, okay, bud? Focus, bud. Yeah, it's it's just, sensitive to the light. I know. You feel like you want to throw up or anything, dude? Just a little bit. So, I'm going to hit Four. What's that? Yeah, I hit it. Light hit it. The light. You want to roll on your side, dude? I'm sorry, 914, still in the hospital with the attempt to pick. Okay. You're doing good, bud. Keep those eyes open, focus on that uh, breathing, okay? 94 Lincoln, could you please phone the hospital and let them know that the uh, 1016 that is there may have some sort of a possible fentanyl exposure and just uh, exercise caution. Keep. Keep. Yeah, no, just okay. light it. I'm busy, sergeant. Okay. Right, so you're right, doing great, dude. You're doing great. Just want you to keep those eyes open, all right? No sleeping on the job. I got you, Nikki. All right, all right. Okay. Four rounds in Arcan on board. Four rounds in Arcan. After the what third one, he started to close his eyes again. They're so. right there, dude. Four milligram. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Alright. Hey, man. What's hey. your name? His name. David. David, nice to meet you. My name's Charlie. Good to meet you. Couple Good silly questions, man. Do you know what city you're in? Uh, yes, yeah, no more ghosts. What year is it, David? 21. Do you have his uh, yeah. permanent ID card on him? David, what happened today? Um, Do you have any further details on that traffic collision on Highway 76, uh, uh, or, um, 22 thousand block? Some. What were you doing? So? We had a 1016. We had an arrest for any... under the influence and a bunch of other yeah. stuff, and he had fentanyl. So we were testing it with the Narcan and packaging it, yep. and he uh, he collapsed. He hit his head on the way down. Um, he seized and was unconscious. I had minutes to How long was he unconscious? I took his. I took his. Uh, Vest off and yeah. rolled him under recovery position. Um, not his eyes rolled back and did you witness his head. Did I you did. witness him yeah. falling? I did, yeah. So did he pass? So he kind of got a whiff of the fentanyl. Did he start seizing while standing? Um, I didn't, I don't remember. Okay. So he's upright, testing the fentanyl. You see him fall to the ground, passes out, and then his extremity started shaking. Yeah, it is his head was. It's all Just I was his head. I, I don't know. That's okay. all I could see. That's fine. That's fine. Did, uh, was his arms moving at all, or was it just his head? Just his head. Just his head. How long was he out for? Um, a minute or so. A minute or so, and were you trying to stimulate him at all? I did, yeah. I, I was talking to him, and I had the Narcan ready because we're dealing with that shit, and yeah. so I grabbed it immediately, and I just I just started slamming it. Just started so, giving him yeah. as much as he could. Okay. David, I want you to look at my finger, open your eyes as wide as you can. 
So, they're not pinpoint or anything like that. Hey guys, let's do a cervical collar. David, do you have any pain in your head? He suffers from tinnitus. Just the back also? of your head? Yeah, I think I hit my head. Any pain in your neck? No. Do you remember passing out or falling whatsoever? Uh, I just remember the finish checking. Yep. And then that, that was it. So you remember checking the substance, next thing you know you woke up on the ground with all your okay. buddies around you? Yeah. Okay. So David, here's the deal. What we're going to do is we're going to put a collar around your neck. Since you did fall, you did pass out, we're going to take you on down to Palomar Hospital, get you checked out, all right? Uh, we'll get you up off the ground and onto the gurney. Hey, once you're done with that, let's get a scoop. Okay, I'll take that. Any medical history that you know about? Probably my sixth or seventh time I fall on my head. <laughs> All right. He has some any, so he has a ring. Do you have any history of brain injuries or anything like that? I don't know if I blacked out or what. Concussion. Any major heart problems? No. History of seizures? Any lung complications? No. Are you diabetic? No. Do you take any medications? No. Pretty young guy. How old are you? 30? 32. 32. Okay. And you're sitting there with David, right? Yes. All right, David. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all this stuff unfastened from you. I'm going to get this collar around your neck. We'll move this bag. We're going to pick you up off the ground using our scoops, okay? You let me know if you have any pain anywhere other than the back of your head, any pain in your chest. Okay. Any pain in your stomach? No. How about your hips or your legs? No. Can you move your feet? Whatever person's property you've got on Good. Yeah, move your hands. Okay. Mostly yeah. over there. I'm just going to pile it all okay. up. This, this probably goes to his gear, so you don't have to just need that. Do that. So, David, I don't know if you've worn one of these before, but they're not very comfortable. Sir, if you wouldn't yeah. mind, Bento, you... put the board down. I'm going to hold his head. My partner's going to put the collar on. We should find pulling his yellow pad. No problem. All right, pulling it out? That. Yep. Readjust this in just a second, right, David? Where's the pain? Right here in the back? Back left. Back left. Okay, so right where my hand is. Yeah, I think that's where I fell on. Okay. Now, did you see the fall backwards, forwards to he the fell side? Backwards. backwards he he stiffened up, down. he just went to put down. Okay, alright. So, guys, I'll keep the head. I'll lift the head a little bit more. We're going to pull this. We'll bring the scoop in. We'll lock them on. Come out yep. Writing this, so before you get caught up in the hospital, yeah. give me a synopsis. Um, we had a trespass call, and uh, the dude was 11 8, like he's 11 5, and so. Um, Contacted him. He ran him through FSTs. Um, we hooked him for 11-5. They wanted to press charges for the vandalism because he cut the fence. So it was felony vandalism. We, he did FSTs over here, and the guy started seizing. He was playing the, the I don't want to go to jail game. So we called medics. They transported. And then after that, he was tossing the car. He found white. And then we called for the true narc. And then in doing the true narc, um, we did it over here, like away from the car, so we could like have a cleaner space to work. And um, while doing that, he, we were done, and he was walking over to do something, and he just collapsed. And then I gave him two. So did the true narc here, and where did he? Right, everything happened right here. The true narc's in my car. He just, he, he, he walked right here, and he just tipped over. David Faibai, F-A-I-I-B-A-E. F-A-I-I V-A-E Galvan, Galvan's knee deep in it with us too, yeah. and so if he can handle that part right, of it, he's at the hospital. He's at the hospital with our 10:16. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of this then. I'll write this and this part. 
Galvan's. Uh, you guys are primary on his arrest, Galvan's is the babysitter? Correct. So it was Dave's arrest and Dave was doing his thing. Okay. But we were going to hook him for a temp bird because there's a screen over here and he removed it from the upper window. Yeah, you yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, thanks, sir. So, okay. that's where we're at. So, yeah, it was, there's dope. There was a BB gun. Uh, the car's done. We were just going to throw everything in at 1185 it for a driver arrested. Okay. I'm guessing if we call Danza out, he's probably going to want to freeze everything. That's fine. Our car's here, so. Yeah. Do you want me to take his gun? We'll leave his all gear? the shit. We'll leave it. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll just go whatever, depending okay. on what they want to do with the material. Um, we'll just freeze everything here until okay. we get further word. We, the only thing we, we had, the only thing we hadn't done stuff. was I. He was he was going to go fingerprint the window because it's in the tent bird, and so we were going to add that charge onto the guy. That upper one closest to the door is it, the screens over here, and he like five nine four a bunch of shit and just trying to break in. Is he going to be booked or is he? We're going to book him. No, we were we were going to do a site until we found the dope. And the window, and the, and then that okay. that was going to turn if, into a book. Uh, if he's too fucked up to get booked, why don't you send Galvan back here? Okay, and he can finish that case. Okay, off? and then maybe uh, someone else can go babysit him while he finishes. Well, I mean, if he's not going to be booked, then he could just be. You yeah, know, I think he's good. he should be booked could, though. Okay. I, yeah. But I mean, if he gets admitted or something. Yeah. Okay. Then fucking, we can just submit it to the field office. Okay. Out. Okay. Okay. You get a chance, see if you can get, find some family information. Something's in your car, is that being secure or did you want to leave it in the car? Uh, detective, we're going to roll. Okay, I'm just going to take this whole thing off then. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to go to the next row. i to go to the next Fair Valley, you're not even showing up. Okay, that's fingers. Yeah. Good. You said no 